How can I spread the fire of God? Fire by its very nature spreads. A fire that is not spreading will eventually go out. In the same way, a Christian that is not spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ will begin to cool down. The purpose of the Holy Spirit's fire can be vividly seen in the account of the day of Pentecost. Jesus commanded His disciples to go to Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit. The disciples were waiting and praying in an upper room for many days. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. What seemed to be flames of fire rested on the head of each disciple. This fire was the visible manifestation of the presence of the Holy Spirit. I want to tell you that there is a flame with your name on it. 120 disciples were instantly empowered to begin spreading the fire of the Holy Spirit. Jesus told the disciples they would become witnesses to the ends of the earth when they received the Holy Spirit. Jesus declared in Acts 1.8, But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Fire must spread. The Holy Spirit's fire gave the disciples the power that they needed to take the gospel around the world. This heavenly fire gave the uneducated fisherman, Peter, the boldness to stand up in front of a huge crowd and to begin preaching with fire. Peter, quoting from the prophet Joel, proclaimed, In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions. Your old men will dream dreams. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. Acts 2, 17 and 18. Joel tells us that one of the signs of the last times will be fire. Peter preached the good news that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, Acts 2.21. He told the crowd of people, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all those who are far off, Acts 2.38 and 39. 3,000 people were saved that day as a result of Peter's fiery sermon. The story of Acts is the story of the spread of the Holy Spirit's fire. The fire inside of the individual disciples quickly became a wildfire that no one could contain. The religious leaders of Jerusalem tried to stop it, but they failed. The Romans tried to stop the fire, and they did no better than the priests. The fire spread and spread until the entire Roman Empire had heard the word of the Lord. Fire gave the disciples a boldness to be a witness. And this same fire will also give you the boldness to be a witness. When you're filled with God's fire, there's no need to be timid in sharing your faith. When the Holy Spirit fills you, He will come with fire. This fire will begin to spread to the people around you. You'll see people saved, healed, and delivered as they come in contact with your fire. The purpose of being filled with the Holy Spirit is to be a witness. It's vital to spread the fire once you've caught it. Fire will give you the urgent, burning compassion to save the lost. I encourage you, if you're filled with the fire of God, begin to spread it to those around you because we want the entire world to catch the fire of God.